In this video, I'd like to look at share buybacks. Uh, companies, as we've seen, can pay a dividend to shareholders, i.e. often a cash payment to shareholders in proportion to the number of shares that they own. So in other words, instead of retaining earnings, companies can choose to pay out a portion of those earnings um, and pay a dividend to shareholders, thereby providing a form of return during the time that shareholders hold the shares without having to sell them. And often, companies do this um, in companies that are well known for doing this are companies that are often in more mature industries and companies that are very much investing in their own business and often technology companies, fast growing companies, often see it as advantageous not to pay a dividend um, and to retain the earnings and to reinvest in their existing business. Now those are two generalizations, but if we look at where dividends are prevalent, uh, we would often find them in the utilities sectors, for example, or sectors where uh, the growth is not the main driver behind the company's current operations. And we would often find very low dividends in the technology sector where companies are potentially not as cash flow positive yet, or even where companies are cash flow positive, but they want to reinvest um, to retain or to build a competitive advantage or to reinvest in technology. What companies can do also is they can buy back shares from shareholders. This is another way of returning cash to shareholders. Why might a company do this? Well, the company might think that with its existing cash that it has on its balance sheet, one of the best investment options for it, specifically obviously if the shares are in their view undervalued, would be to buy back their own shares and to make potentially either a tender offer or to go into the market and to buy back shares um, in the market for cash as an investment, in effect, an investment in themselves uh, if the shares are undervalued. What this also does is if the company cancels the shares or if this, the, on the asset side of the balance sheet the cash will go down and on the equity and liability side on the right side of the balance sheet the equity would be reduced so overall the assets on the balance sheet would shrink and ratios like return on assets would improve also uh, earnings per share would improve if the number of shares outstanding is reduced so therefore companies can use this to improve some of their financial ratios and clearly instead of companies making acquisitions that are not well founded or that aren't at attractive valuations buying back their own shares is clearly a very intelligent well thought out and smart financial choice buying back shares is also now perceived as a way of signaling to the market that the shares are undervalued so initially obviously companies would probably have only bought back shares when they were undervalued but as this became a more prevalent practice um, there was a signaling element built into an announcement of a share buyback and the shares would typically perform very well after a share buyback announcement because it was perceived that the company who knows a lot about its own operations and business saw its own shares as being undervalued. So companies can clearly announce share buybacks as well just as a method of signaling to the market that they think the shares are undervalued or as a way of signaling to the market that they think their shares um, are potentially undervalued and should go up. Companies often issue stock options um, to employees or stock to employees and in that context, there's often a requirement to buy back shares and to buy share and to then provide these shares to employees. So even though companies may be conducting share buybacks in the market or through tender offers, um, the issuance of shares to employees might mean that in some cases either that it cancel, the two cancel each other out or that there may actually be a net issuance of shares if the number of shares that are issued to employees through stock options or, th or directly is greater than the number of shares that are bought back in the market. Given that share buybacks are another way of returning share cash to shareholders, whether a company pays a dividend and returns cash to shareholders or whether a company buys back shares and returns cash to shareholders is often very much dependent on what is more advantageous from a tax perspective. And with recent developments in the United States, it actually, because the share of buybacks are taxed at capital gains and the dividends are now also uh, taxed at preferential rates, it has become uh, largely an equal choice between paying a dividend and paying a, doing a share of buyback. 
when there was double when there's double taxation of dividends i.e. there's taxation within the company and then on receipt of dividends by the shareholder then it may be more advantageous for the company to buy back shares and return cash in that manner so overall share buybacks are a very important corporate finance concept it's a way for companies to return cash to shareholders it's a way for companies to potentially improve their financial ratios it's a way for companies to potentially take a very smart investment decision if their shares are undervalued and a way of getting their share price back up and for also for them to deploy their cash effectively instead of buying something that's not undervalued or potentially overvalued and it's a way for companies also to signal to the market that they feel their shares are undervalued.